Alright, so today I have another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle for you guys, and if you're wondering, like, what the hell is that team that Neil brought today? So this is actually a Wonder Cup battle, uh, versus one of my very active viewers, Neil Harris 60 aka Neil's Knight. We're doing a Wonder Cup battle today, which means that we took six Pokemon from our box and we Wonder traded them out, which means that we got six random Pokemon from around the world sent to us, and that is Neil's team, and my team, guys, is Shieldon, Dino, Flabebe, Fletchling, Dratini, and Vulpix. He actually got a Zora arc, which makes this extremely interesting, because now I won't know if it's like a Caterpie or a Zora arc, and I don't even know the movesets on any of these guys, so this is gonna be a great battle. I already know this is, I already know we've already won. Oh, whoops, I'm gonna reveal my moveset if I do that. I mean, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. Man, I don't even... I don't even, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> this is going to be the dumbest battle of my life. But, why not? Why not? Why not do a Wonder Cup battle, right? Mix things up a bit. Are you guys ready for the plays? It might be your Zora Ark, Misaki. Oh, this is going to be so good. Yeah, no Scatterbug either. I'm going to leave him my Dratini. I mean, I don't know if that's Caterpie or if that's Zora Arc. Yes, that's the problem. And no, we weren't allowed to put held items or change any of their moves, so... ruh -ruh. And no, guys, that's not Gale Wings Fletchling. Like, <laughs> Of course not. Alright, alright. Alright, Dratini, hit him with a Rap Attack. Alright, do you guys think that's Zora Arc? Uh, I need a vote, you know. Maybe that Zora Arc has String Attack, guys. Do you think it's got String Attack? I, I bet that's definitely Zora Arc. Alright, reveal to me the Zorark. Ah, uh, what a twist. It's not Zorark. He has sharply lowered my speed. Oh no. What's he gonna do? Hit me with a taggle? Hit me with your worst! <laughs> Ooh, tons of damage. Slow wings, fletchly. We're gonna hit him with a leer. We're gonna stare right into his soul. Lower that defense. Ooh, nice and powerful. Oh, tons of damage, tons of damage. Oh, you're going down, Neil. This means more. Here comes the crit tackles, I bet, right? Oh god, this is ridiculous. Alright, alright, alright. Good start, good start. Yo, I should predict the tackle? But I don't have a ghost type, so... GG. Yeah, okay, like, this Dratini is not terrible, actually, another thing about it. I mean, Rap is kind of, kind of okay. Wow, look at the plays. Neil here, he's predicting me to stay in, and he goes for the tackle. Now, I'm gonna predict him to stay in, and I'm gonna go for the Rap. And that's all she wrote for that Caterpie. Caterpie's got stealth rocks, oh god. Watch him send in another Caterpie, and then I'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now this <laughs> I never know if it's Zorark, guys. Is he going for Dragon Rage, or does this guy have actually have a Dragon type move? Yo, I'm gonna make the insane predictions. I'm gonna predict like a dual chop or something. <laughs> We're gonna go out into Flabebe here. This is uh this is my OP Flabebe. Oh, oh, this thing has a Dragon Claw. It's actually really scary. Well, I predicted the Dragon Claw successfully and I went on the Flobebe, so... We're somehow making plays in a Wonder Cup battle. This isn't Little Cup, but I mean close enough. <laughs> You've traced my Flower Veil. I don't even know what... I don't even know what Flower Veil does. <laughs> All the plays! Wow, he took that actually pretty poorly. Flabebe. Nice and powerful. Should I set up a lucky chant, guys, to uh, protect my team from critical tackles? <laughs> from these crit tackles. Do I need to set up a, uh, a lucky chant? Wait. Does this, does this Ralts even have any attacking moves? Well, I'm gonna go on to Dino, and, uh, we'll see if he's got a Psychic-type move, because I'm gonna go on to Dino here, and I'm gonna predict the, uh, the Psychic. 
Let's go for the growl! Oh my god, you guys see that? Neil predicted my switch into, uh, into Dino. He definitely predicted that, yep. He totally predicted that switch. And he went for the growl to, uh, to cut uh, the attack stat of my incoming uh, Dino. So, well played, Neil, well played. He definitely knew that was coming. <laughs> I can go for the tackle here anyway, and, uh, holy shit! I did a ton. Do I have hustle or something, or? I didn't even check. What's my ability? Oh, I do have hustle. Oh, god. Oh, god, these tackles. Wait, I bet he only has growl. Well, because I don't want my Dino's attack to actually be, like, super duper low when the next thing comes in, I am going to go back out into Flubebe, because I think he's just going to spam Growl, and I really don't care. Uh, because Flubebe's got Fairy Wind, guys. Nice and powerful. Fairy Wind, you know, tons of damage. It's a really, really strong move. It's basically as strong as, uh, as Peck, as we learned from one of the infamous Wi-Fi battles on my channel. If you guys haven't seen my uh, Wi-Fi battle number 22 versus Goose the Master, then uh, you guys definitely need to see this. It's easily one of the best battles I've ever played. It is such a funny battle. We learned in that battle, guys, that Peck is clearly OP and, and meta-defining. And probably only knows Growl. I oh, went into Eevee. Huh. Wait, what other guys does he have left? I have killed his, uh, Caterpie and Ralts, and now we're down to the last, like, serious group of Pokemon. On the off chance this is Zorark, I am going to go for the, uh, the Fairy Wind. Okay, it's definitely not. He is cursed. He is cursed. <laughs> so is this, like, for, like, a curse Umbreon? Is that it? Is that what this EV is for? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Flubebe, you, you failed me. You're fired. He's got curse. Should we switch out and just counter him with a growl? <laughs> just counter him with a growl spam. Guys. It's Hoos. Hello, Strike Fire. Welcome to our uh, our Wonder Cup battle. Oh god, Neil's gonna sweep me with this. I, I wonder what attacking movie is. So he's going for the very standard uh, EV set, guys. You know, all the pros use it. Where uh, you set up curse and you go for the uh, the tackles. <laughs> Do you ever covet? What? Holy shit! They did a ton. Obviously, guys, we're not taking this battle too seriously. Uh, otherwise, you know, it wouldn't really make too much sense for me to go into Fletchling. But you know, blood for the blood god, guys. We need to have some ritual sacrifices in here, and I gotta offer up something to Neil. For the covet. Oh, nice and powerful. Now I have really nothing that can do anything to this EV, so the plan is, I guess, to just spam growl, get him like weak, I guess. And maybe he'll switch. This is Wonder Cup Strike Fire, so uh, we we were using six Pokemon that we got from the Water Trade, and we're not allowed to change their moves or their held items or anything. I don't have any held items, and neither does he. So, what nature is your EV like? Good lord. <laughs> My shield on moveset. You don't even know, man. Alright, alright. I have you now. Neil, I'm about to break your wall. Because you made a huge mistake, sir. You have sacked your fairy type Ralts, and now I can do nothing with Dragon Rage. How much HP do you have? <laughs> oh god. It's timid? Why is it timid and why does it have curse? No, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> oh, wonder trade. You never cease to amuse me. In the sense of another curse. You fool! I have dragon rage. I don't care about your defenses. Ooh, nice and powerful. I have you now. I haven't seen what a Zorark is, uh... I guess a Zorark is pretending to be his, uh, Tyrant, I'm assuming. We'll see. Yeah, Dragon Rage is 40 HP, yeah. This is a flat damage move. 
I'm assuming his EV has like approximately 10,000 HP or something, though. No? That's not. Timid and Cursed is an awful set. <laughs> it is higher HP than your Zora Arc. <laughs> that is actually beautiful. Alright, the Dino Sweep. The Dino Sweep. I also like to think that people just don't know what they're doing. And it's not that they're just wonder trading away bad things, is that they're like they actually are like, you know what? We'll put Timid on our on our curse Eevee. Uh let's see. What would what would this guy do? I mean Hmm. You know, I'm curious. I kind of want to see it. Show me what you got. <laughs> what? Oh, God! His illusion wore off. Wait, I didn't even see what he did because I was reading that really long thing. Thank you, China Fun. I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot to me. What? <laughs> I can't use the same move in a row due to torment. Oh god, Neil just made massive plays. He's running the uh, the very strong Zora Arc set uh, that you can find on Smogon. Of course, it is of course the highest rated set that everybody uses in OU uh, and Ubers. Uh, the torment, infamous torrent, uh, torment Zora Arc. So he he knows I want to spam Dragon Raid, so he went for torment, and now I can't use the same move twice in a row. Seems legit. Okay, bro. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna switch. We're gonna go into Flip Bay. Oh, he just crit me with the something. But, uh... Oh, I was thinking it was Night Slash. Yo, yo, I'm, I'm hard countering your Night Slash. Oh, that's Punishment? What the fuck? That actually does some good damage. Alright, well, no more crits for you! <laughs> no crits, please. Wow, I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die to a punishment. Punishment? I don't even know what punishment does. Is that like assurance? Like, does punishment do more if he's low? Like, I actually have no idea what punishment does. Oh, that is true, China Fun. Thank you regardless. Alright, we gotta make a play, guys. I need something that can take this uh, this punishment here. Probably should have gone for the fairy wind, but again, you know, this is another fun battle. Just waiting for your powerhouse to come in. Bro, are you ready? Are you ready for these headbutts? I should, I should probably good. I could have done some serious damage with fairy wind, but I'm not playing this match to win, I'm playing it for kicks. I'm gonna hit him with a headbutt right in the balls. Okay, he keeps using punishment, guys. Uh, I bet he's uh, I bet he's choiced in some way. Maybe he's running a choice band or a choice scarf or something like that. Uh, let's see. I'm looking up punishment right now. Punishment deals variable damage based on the positive stat stages of the foe. Oh right, yes, yeah, that move where uh, if your opponent is setting up like stat boost, it does more damage. Oh wait, this tyrant like resists everything I have, actually. Huh. Well, that's awkward. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get swept by this tyrant. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for that, uh... Oh, he's gonna go for tackle. Oh! Oh, huge! Eat headbot. Oh my god, that did so much damage. See, he's not going for the... Wait, no, Axu's the guy with the Dragon Claw, right? He might just only have Tackle. Maybe I go for Ember and pray for the burn? Yeah, I have Ember for some reason. Like, why? Why do I have Ember? <laughs> I have no idea. Ah, oh, no burn? Ah, oh, ah, oh, we're gonna make the play. I'm predicting the Tackle from uh, Neil here. We didn't see this coming. Predicting the Tackle. I forgot his Axu actually had Dragon Claw. I should have kept, uh... 
what's his face alive? I should have kept uh, Flip Heavy alive, actually. For some reason, I thought I killed Ax uh, Axu, and I wasn't even paying attention. But anyway, I'm invincible. Ah, he predicts me for go to Ember, and he goes for the tackle. No burn. Lame. No moves. Do, do I have anything that can hit that Axu? <laughs> Guys, we are so fucked. All right, get him, Dratini. That rock type, man, rock type's so OP, guys. I mean, come on, why not mono rock team? Tail whip, what? A what? Well, uh, I figured this is the only way I can kill him, so yeah, we're gonna the rap on him. His tail of whip. No, you sure, Sud? Oh, oh my God! Jeez and Lord of mercy! Oh my stars and garters! The hell? <laughs> That's some damage, nice and powerful. Huh? Well then, <laughs> Tyrant is strong. All right, hit him with a dragon rage. Wow, do you know why you're so slow, man? Why you why you have to be slow? All right, do you know you're fired? <laughs> oh no, please no tail whip, Neil. No, don't you whip your tail at me. That is my weakness. Dino is weak to tail whip. I'm gonna kill him with a hustle tackle. Oh god, is this gonna kill me? Oh no, I knew I would live that. I calced that, guys. I did the uh, the damage calcs right now, and uh, I knew I would live that. I mean, it was, it was basic math, guys. Basic arithmetic. You know, it was... Take the cosine of his attack stat divided by the tangent of my defense stat, multiplied by the number of leaves on the tree outside my window, and you get obviously like 40 damage or however much that was, and I mean, easy game, easy life, right? You better not be faster than me. He's gonna be faster than me. Oh, Axu, please! Oh god, he's got slash! Oh, tons of damage. Boom, headshot. You know what? Actually, another thing about it, even if I kept my Flubebe alive and I was actually like playing this match more seriously, uh, I would have lost anyway. Because Flubebe will die in like two slashes to an Axu. Axu's attack stat, I think, is like base uh, 700. Maybe like it's like 2k or something, I'm not sure, but he's got, he's got one hell of an attack stat. I know I'm faster, so we're gonna pray we get the flamethrower burn, guys. Burn him! Burn him! Oh, fuck. Will it burn? That is the question. This is all I have. I've got like flamethrower quick attack. <laughs> burn him. Oh god! No! Vulpix, why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? Alright, GG, well played, Neil. Uh, you know, he, he was predicting the flamethrowers and everything intelligently, and he just he went for the Dragon Claw. I mean, he, was, he made the right play, man. GG, dude. This is a really, really stupid battle. Uh, I got a kick out of this one, though. I definitely did. So if you guys enjoyed watching this battle, of course, don't forget to check the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel. Links below the live stream. I have plenty of other Pokemon videos there, as well as videos of other games. So if you like this one, you probably will like those as well. So thank you so much for the support, as always, guys. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back in a few moments to close off the live stream. <laughs> GG, well played, Neil. This was uh, easily one of the dumbest battles I've ever had. So it was a pleasure, sir. Neil too strong. Axu, Axu is best. GG Mountain.